stretch marks are not fun. They're not fun because people make comments. They're not fun because you have to look at them every day. But if you start changing how you look at them and you start understanding the science behind why you have them, it changes things. Now there's been a lot of talk about my stretch marks lately. And it probably stems from the fact that I created a video that really called them out. I had arrows on my body pointing them. And the thing is, I've had so many haters, so many people come at me and say terrible things, not only about my stretch marks, but also negating the fact that I ever was overweight and now they have to show them the stretch marks in order to prove it. So these stretch marks tell a lot of different stories. And the purpose of this video is to do two things. To one, talk about how I own them, talk a little bit about my story, but two, talk about how you can kind of get your skin back, but also to put you at ease a little bit to know that there's not a whole lot you can do about them, but you can start taking some indirect measures to make sure that you don't have a ton of loose skin. Because people do see my stretch marks, but they notice that I don't have copious amounts of loose skin. So although I do have some loose skin, it's not too bad. And there are some measures that you can take. But first off, let me tell you a little bit about my story because I know a lot of people on my channel probably haven't even heard the full thing. So I was 280 pounds at one point, okay? I was 280 pounds, I was an unhealthy person, I was focused on career, I was focused on my role in the healthcare industry and what I was doing. I was still training, I was still working out, but it was definitely the wrong way and was with the wrong foods. So of course, by default, my body started to give up on me and I got out of shape. And when time came around and I ended up actually getting myself back in shape, the damage was already done. I already saw the stretch marks appearing. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it once it happens, especially if you're not in the right mental state. You're not gonna immediately reverse it. But the thing is, no matter whether you have them or not, you have to own it. I've been turned down to shoot magazine covers. I have been turned down in multiple publications just for regular editorials and regular shoots. I have had photographers tell me that I'm difficult to work with because they have to brush up my stretch marks. I have had so many people come to me and tell me that they're ugly. I've had people tell me that it looks like I got mauled by a cougar. I have had it all come at me. And you know what? It used to bother me a lot. And then I realized that this is my story. This is what is left to constantly remind me of what was before. And I honestly, earnestly believe that if I didn't have these stretch marks, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today because they are the reminder that it is a pretty profound part of my life, a very profound part of my life. And although I don't let it dictate and determine where I go with my life, it does allow me to wake up every day and remember why I do what I do. So I embrace these suckers now. So this is the first message of this video before we get into the science is to own this stuff. These things that you've got there, that is gonna constantly remind you what you went through and who you are today. Whether it was from bodybuilding, whether it was from being overweight, or whether it was from pregnancy and you now have the most joyous, amazing creature in your life because of it. They are a story that reminds you that. But now let's talk a little bit about science. Why do I have these stretch marks? Okay, what physiologically happened to me? Okay, I didn't get mauled by a cougar. What ended up happening was my collagen and elastin fibrous network ended up getting broken down. You see, our skin and other layers of our skin underneath our skin contain, of course, collagen and elastin. And what is happening when you have a stretch mark is you're breaking down proteins. You're breaking down elastic proteins, the elastin that's actually underneath your skin. So it's not your skin that's actually breaking down, it's the layer underneath it, it's the dermis. So what's happening is the proteins are physically breaking. And that's why when someone first starts getting a stretch mark, they're very red because it's the trauma, the proteins have broken. But what they're starting to find is that's very hard to recover. In fact, there's a study that I wanna reference that was published in the British Journal of Dermatology. What they did is they took a look at stretch marks at a more molecular level. They wanted to see what was happening because obviously they're trying to find a solution. And what they found was that just like I said, the elastin, the layer underneath the skin was getting broken down. But what they found is that there's a fibrous network underneath our skin. And this fiber network is like a labyrinth of different proteins that are just interwound together. Very complex, predetermined by sort of our genetic code. And what ends up happening is that network is totally disrupted and those fibers get torn apart. But what ends up happening is because those fibers get torn apart, blood flow gets disrupted, all kinds of things get disrupted and it doesn't ever get the ability to rebuild properly. So what ends up happening is you end up with loose skin because the skin stretches and it never really comes back. So it ends up looser. So what ends up happening is you're left with not only stretch marks, but sometimes looser skin. So what I wanna talk about in this video is some ways that you can actually tighten up the skin that's outside of the stretch mark. You have to remember that the stretch mark is essentially dead. This skin, unless I wanted to get some laser therapy to cover it up and smooth it up, that skin is still alive, but the dermis underneath it is messed up. It's not dead, but it can't get blood. 
That's why they turn white later on. These scars, I have them everywhere. I have them all over the place. But you see, they turn white. When they start to turn white, that just means you're not getting as much blood flow there. So what do you do? How do you make it so that you don't just end up with a lot of loose skin? Well, what you need to do is you need to think about how you can tighten up the area around it. Okay, And that's where collagen comes into play. So I want to explain how collagen works. We've talked a little bit about elastin, but collagen is sort of the next step. See, collagen is the building block of all the connective tissue, including your skin. And it actually ends up making up about 30% of all the protein in your body. But there was an interesting study that took a look at stretch marks, and they took a look at collagen, and they looked at pregnant women in order to do this. So this study was published in the Journal of Skin Pharmacology and Physiology. And what it looked at was exactly what happens when collagen is in place. Okay, so what they did is they took these pregnant women, and for eight weeks they had them take collagen peptides, very high quality collagen. And they wanted to see what exactly was happening. Well, first of all, stretch marks didn't really occur. But they also found that those that continually administered the collagen ended up having a 65% increase in what is called pro-collagen. Pro-collagen is a precursor to the collagen protein. Pro-collagen encourages the body to create more collagen, encourages it to actually make it from other proteins. So we can create our own natural collagen if we have enough pro-collagen. So what we're trying to find here is, is there really a negative feedback loop or a positive feedback loop that's allowing the body to see more collagen coming in, so consequently making more? If we can manage to introduce collagen in a way that allows our body to actually create more pro-collagen, the skin surrounding our stretch marks will tighten, which means you may have the battle scars, but again, you wanna own those, but you won't get the loose skin with them. And that was a big, big part for me. I made sure that as soon as I started to lose weight, I was taking in the right amount of collagen. I was taking it through supplements, I was eating the right cuts of meat, and I was making sure I could get it whenever I possibly could. And even after I lost a bunch of weight, because I lost about 100 pounds in a little over a year, I was able to retract some of that skin and tighten it up a little bit. But there was another component that I used too. See, I was a big fan of using witch hazel. Witch hazel is an astringent, which means that it draws oil out of your skin. And it means that it can actually promote the elastic activity of your skin. So if you use witch hazel topically on a regular basis and consume collagen orally on a regular basis, you can start giving yourself a formula to at least tighten the skin surrounding the stretch marks. Because witch hazel is an astringent and it's also a powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, it has the ability to help tighten things up. And the tannins that are in the witch hazel help remove the oils. And you might be thinking that oils add to the elasticity, but they actually don't. Okay, if you remove some of the oils, it allows your skin to tighten up and then allows the collagen to do its job a little bit better. So very, very powerful there. Another thing that was very important to me in recovery was actually making sure that I got enough in the way of the omega-3s, which I always talk about anyway. Whether it's getting it from your diet or through supplementation, getting those omega-3s in is super, super, super critical because that is the anti-inflammatory component that is going to manifest in your skin. Yes, that's actually true. The eicosapentaenoic acid, the EPA, is very powerful at reducing inflammation throughout your entire body. The DHA portion of fish oil is good for the brain and good for the nerves. But in this particular case, we're focused on the EPA, which is very, very powerful and very, very effective. So when you have this combination of collagen, omega-3s, and witch hazel, you have yourself the ability to start tightening the skin around your stretch marks. So even though, once again, you're left with your scars, you're left with that. That's going to be there. It's going to be ugly. People are going to make fun of you. People are going to say you're mauled by a cougar, but own it. Okay. You do what you can to tighten your skin and be the best person that you could possibly be. And although this may not be exactly what you want to hear, it at least tells my story and helps you understand that I'm human too. And you should be proud of whatever stripes you wear. I'll see you in the next video.